Hi everyone, I'm Vandana Rai and we have with us Rashi Chaudhary. Uh, we are from Immigration Advisors New Zealand. We are here to answer questions that we are getting from students and their partners. So um, we'll try and answer all those questions today. So Rashi, please ask me what are the kind of questions that you get from students and their partners who so, are thinking of studying in New Zealand. Vandana, we, have, we get a lot of queries uh, regarding partners of students. They basically want to know that if their partners, whether a student's partner can travel to New Zealand and you know, if one of them is studying or is, is applying for a visa, then can the partner come and apply for a visa too? Thank you, definitely. This is one of uh, the very important um, questions that they have. They need the answers for before they can decide. So yes, um, if one of the applicants is planning to study in New Zealand, um, the other partner can can be eligible to apply for a visitor visa or apply even for a work visa while the student visa holder tries to complete this, the course in New Zealand. So New Zealand is one country which believes in family unification. That means if somebody is back to study, partners have the eligibility to apply for a visitor or work visa depending upon the course that the student visa holder is doing. Okay. Thank you, Vanna. So another thing that we are often asked is if an applicant is planning to do a master's degree or a higher program, then can their partners even work while uh, partner is studying? Uh, definitely yes. If somebody is, uh, is applying for a student visa to do a master's program or is has a student visa already approved for a master's program or higher, the partners can uh, apply for a partnership-based work visa if the partnership instructions are met. Uh, not only masters, there are few courses which are uh, at bachelor's level or higher also wherein the, if the course is listed in as one of the requirements for qualifications on the dream list again partners do have the option to apply for work visa. So, perfect situation, one person studies, another person works, the family can be together, what more can you use in Yeah, but people often ask what about the kids then, you know, they have kids who are school going age and you will have to pay an additional international fee for the kids as well or uh, you know, a lot of them have heard that kids don't have to pay the international fees so how does it work? Yes, um, another benefit that New Zealand uh, offers is if somebody is uh, planning or is studying a master's program on a hire and the partner is eligible for a work visa then dependent kids, kids children can study for free um, yeah, that's that's one of the benefits that New Zealand offers. So, um, if, if one of the partners is on a work visa, kids can study for free called a domestic fee paying student visa. So, family of four, one person does a master's program, uh, partner gets a work visa, and kids can study for free while the student visa holder completes the qualification. That is really a win win situation for all. Definitely, yes. So, and what happens when the course is finished? So, will the family have to return back to their original place of residence or do they have other visa options to continue staying in New Zealand? Okay. So, that's again um, one of the factors which the family considers. So, uh, when the course is finished, uh, the student visa holder may have post study work track. So, if they are doing a master's program um, after the study is finished, the student visa holder can apply for three years of post-study work visa. That means the student visa holder can work in any occupation for any number of hours for three more years. And the best part is, in these three years, partners can also apply for a partnership-based work visa. That means partners can also get three years partnership-based work visa. Kids continue to, to study for free on the domestic fee-paying student visa for three more years if that's the duration of one of the parents who study work with us. So again, yeah, ideal situation for the family. Thank you Vanna, that was uh, really nice and you have cleared a lot of doubts for a lot of students and prospective students for New Zealand and their families and partners. Mm -hmm. My pleasure and then another, you know, I just like to wind up with the news that uh, a lot of uh, clients have heard that things are changing, few partners may not be eligible for work visa uh, from March 2023 20, onwards. The good thing is, whatever the change be, it will not apply to partners of student visa holders, it will not apply to partners of post-study work visa holders. So, so students who are thinking of studying in New Zealand can have this certainty of the option that we and the pathway that we have discussed, even though the even rules change for other work visa holders. So, Thank you Rashi for putting those questions in and uh, if you have any other questions do send them to us 
keep asking and we'll be happy to provide answers.